Good afternoon. I'm Chief Frank Carter of the San Angelo Police Department. Thank you, Brian Gross, for having me today. Um, you know, we've implemented several things in the police department to limit the exposure to uh, the police officers and the public. Some of those things is you can now go online and request an incident report. Uh, you don't have to come in person. Um, also, if you're wanting to pay your alarm report or alarm fee, uh, you can also go online or mail that in. Um, we're trying to limit the amount of public traffic that comes into the police building. Um, as of now, most of our civilian employees um, are working, remoting in, working from home. Um, as we move forward um, into this week, uh, still experiencing the coronavirus, um, I want to make people aware of some of the things that I've seen and heard that, that are not factual. And one of those is there's no city curfew uh, for adults. There is a curfew if you're under the age of 17 uh, past the hours at 11 p.m. during the week and 12 o'clock on the weekends. Um, that curfew's been in effect for many years. So again, there's no adult curfew. Uh, limit your gatherings uh, to 10 or less. Uh, I encourage everybody, if you don't have to be out, stay at home. Um, you know, a lot of what we're needing to practice here is common sense. Um, grocery stores, um, abide by the limits. That way everybody has, has a supply to go around. And of course, the governor uh, enacted uh, uh, new regulations last week for 10 or less, uh, closing the bars, uh, closing the restaurants to, and take out only. Uh, I want the citizens to be aware that that is enforced on the local level. Uh, the officers has, have discretion uh, to give a verbal warning, a written citation, or uh, an arrest. Uh, we're hoping for voluntary compliance. I know the first couple of days, uh, this went into place. Um, the bars had to close at midnight. Uh, I was very thrilled with the results uh, of the bar owners, restaurant owners, everybody doing their part uh, in self-compliance. Dispatch is getting inundated with calls and we need to allow those lines to be open for emergencies. Um, we ask that if, if you have questions about regulations, um, you know, we're getting phone calls, uh, can, can we leave town? Uh, does this apply to my residence? Uh, can we go to the grocery store? Is there a curfew? Uh, we encourage you to uh, ask those questions, if you will, through a Facebook forum, either through the San Angelo Police Department or you, Brian Gross, through the city of San Angelo PIO. Uh, the, if you do see a violation, um, feel free to call the non-emergency line if you'd like to report it. You know, as we move forward, uh, you know, I just encourage everybody to take care of that neighbor, uh, and especially the elderly. They're the most vulnerable there in this time. Uh, and, and practice common sense. Um, you know, wa wash your hands uh, repeatedly and often as possible. Um, if you don't have to be around people, don't. Um, when you go to the grocery store, um, you know, send one person, not the entire family. Uh, I know they're limiting uh, the amount of people that they're allowing in at some of these grocery stores. And again, pay attention to the limits so there's enough food and, and supplies to go around for everybody.